guy. How you doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel. I was just wanted to talk about something. Before I do, you know what I'm going to have to do? Because I wear these the same thing all the time. Like I said, production value, right? I'm going to probably say this is part of my religious garb now. Yes. My little cap and my little, my little Mexican Baja pullover. It's part of my new religion. Deal with it. Suck it. Anyway, but I, I do wash it regularly. I'm not a, I, you got, cleanliness is next to godliness, but that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the phenomenon that's going on in the world, at least in America. What I'm doing is not unusual, actually. Living in my vehicle, selling art as I go. Some people are probably having a hard time with the, the money thing. Not everybody's like has a gig. They're just traveling around. I saw, yesterday I saw two different people from Texas. Some big dude in a van. And then two girls pulled up later, some hippie chicks. Could have been lesbians. I'm not judging. They were adorable. I mean, they were from Texas too. And I was like, where's, where are these people coming from? And then, like I said, in the last year and a half of my run, my journey, people from everywhere. And they're just living in their vehicles. And it's just you, you, people don't understand is during the lockdown, they shut down everybody's business. A lot of people were homeless because they didn't have a job anymore and they were living in their vehicles. And so they just decided to travel and they had unemployment and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, is it's really, it's, it's not being reported. It's really bizarre because <clears throat> like I, I'm so used to it. I have a routine. I understand the nuances. There's a lot of people that are still going through it, trying to figure out you know, as they travel where they can stay for free, if they can, you know, trying to save coin, right? Because gas is crazy and everything's expensive. So there's people traveling from all over the place and they're, I mean, and it's not, like I said, normally in the old days, if somebody was living in the vehicle, it's probably because they were down. They were, you know, they were using shit like that. They were having mental issues. So it was like, you know, it just almost like rock bottom is getting rock bottom. But nowadays it's just like people decide, fuck it, I'm just going to live in my vehicle. I see a lot of people like me cleaned out, have like vans that are just gutted out like this one, where they don't have any chairs in the back. And I always tell people, if you buy a car and you're going to be mobile, if you don't have 10 people in the fucking car, you don't need 10 seats. Make some room for you to move around and be comfortable. Enjoy yourself. Relax a little bit. I mean, it's homelessness shouldn't be a stigma. I mean, even that cute little blonde girl, Jewel, singer, you know, I don't know what the hell her song was. But you know what I'm talking about. She was homeless for a while. You know. And she got her shit together. She don't leave towels on the floor anymore. You know what I mean? She's cool. So, you know. It's not a stigma. It's not a bad thing. Most people are just enjoying it. I'm enjoying my freedom. I'm enjoying my movement. I'm just, you know. It's it's a, like I said, it's a it's a gamble. It's a nomadic. It's, it's give and take. But like I said. And here's the fun part. Is I'm on the coast. And everybody that's in the desert. Is going to be hitting up here pretty soon. So this, the whole coast from California to Washington is just going to be flooded with people living in their vehicles because it's going to be too hot inland. Trust me, when you're living in your vehicle and you don't have proper air conditioning, it's just unbearable. That's why everybody in, that's in the desert now is going to be moving up here in a minute. I'm just here early. Anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. It's a really interesting little phenomenon, the whole you know full-time traveling thing. But anyway, I love you. God loves you, and the universe takes you when you get out and move, get mobile. Find a new way to live. Find a new way to be. It's the age of Aquarius. People are questioning everything and finding spirituality that they didn't even understand. And it doesn't have to be an organized religion. You just have to love yourself. Holy shit, that's it. Love yourself, and the rest will follow, baby. Love and light. And rock on. Okay, bye.